Hey everybody, um, I'm just coming to you today to talk about some new products that I've picked up, um, both drugstore and high-end. Um, most of them that I'm going to talk about in this video, I'm wearing on my face right now. Um, and I just wanted to kind of go over it. what's worth it, what's not. Um, I'm a mom on a budget, so there's obviously ooh, baby monitors going off. Somebody doesn't want to take a nap. Life. Um, so I'm a mom on a budget, as you can tell. And um, it's really important to me to pick up things that work and things that are affordable. So let me just get started. So one of the first things I picked up was definitely a splurge for me. Um, it's something that I normally wouldn't spend that much money on, but uh, this just was like the perfect set for me. It was like dream because uh, it's the Cheek Parade by Benefit. Um, as you probably already know, it has uh, two bronzers, Hula and Hula Light, and three different blushes and the brush that obviously I use so often, as you can tell. Um, the real reason that I bought this was for Hula and Hula Light, Ooh, vice versa, Hula and Hula Light, um, because I always wanted to wear Hula because it is a matte bronzer, but I always felt it was too dark for me. So in this palette, I get um, the ability to use Hula, but I mix it in with a little bit of Hula Light, which kind of makes it a little bit more manageable. Um, I have it on today. I think it works really well. Um, as you can see, I think it just, it's, it's good. It's good. I like it. So, um, it was worth it for me. I think this is like 45 to $50. Um, I'll link the prices and where you can get it below. Um, I got mine at Ulta, but yeah. And obviously the three blushes are just like a bonus for me because I wasn't really buying them for that. So um, the next thing is a drugstore item. I realized that my collection was lacking. I don't wear makeup every single day. Um, I get up really early in the morning. If I go to the gym, I have to get up at 3.30. If I don't go to the gym, I get up around 4, 4.30. Um, and I'm out the door by 6, 6.15. So I don't wear like full glam makeup every day. It's just not practical for my life. Um, but I do sometimes get all done up. And I realized that my collection was lacking a really good drugstore um, foundation. Um, so I picked up the CoverGirl Healthy Vitalist, uh, no, Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. Um, I like the idea of this. I got it in Classic Ivory. Um, I like the idea of this only because I like the fact that it has some vitamins in it. Um, on the front it says it has vitamin E, B3, and B5. Um, and also I like the idea that it has SPF. I don't get photographed, um, so like flashback isn't a problem for me. Um, the only thing that's kind of weird about this foundation is the smell. It, kind of, it has a pretty floral scent. So if you don't like scents um, just at all, you're not gonna like it. I will say it dissipates. I don't smell it like in or around my nose and I have it on right now. So um, it does dissipate, it's not awful, but it definitely has a scent. The next things I have been using and loving um, are the Stila Magnificent Metals. These are no news to anybody. Um, they're really popular right now. Everybody's using them on YouTube. They're great. I mean, they're just awesome. They're such an interesting concept um, where they go on extremely, extremely wet. They dry down. They're blendable. Um, this one is in rose gold retro. Re you can see it's like super, super wet. But I have it on my eyes right now. Here, I'll take off my glasses for this video so that you can actually see. Um, I have it on my eyes right now. I can't tell if you, if you can tell, but yes, I have it on my eyes right now. And it just adds like the perfect pop of shine. And they are beaming. I mean, they, and they just dry down so nicely. Yeah, the glitter will fall off. If you're rubbing your eye, if you're, you know, playing around with it, it's going to fall off. That's glitter, period. You know, it's going to spread. They don't call it therapies of arts and crafts for no reason. So glitter is going to spread if you rub it. But if you are conscious of your eye and, um, you know, not rubbing on it and it's going to be, it's, it's just going to take your eye look to the next level. I really like them. Um, I got two. I got this rose gold retro and I also picked up, 
Let's see if I can find it. Oh, it's not down here. Well, that's a win on my part. Um, I also picked up the kitten shade. I had to. Kitten's the very first shade of um, a smudge pot that I got from Stila back, you know, like, 10 years ago or something so I had to pick it up it was just too nostalgic not to and they're just great I think everyone should at least pick up one I'm gonna really set off your eye look you can pick up you know one can work with lots of different eye looks so the next thing that I have is the elf aqua infused blush and bronzer in the shade bronze pink beige looks like this it's one of those crazy putty textures that's super popular right now but as you can see I just barely touched my finger in there and it's like covered in blush I, I I'm wearing it today I don't know if you can really tell um, I try not to go too heavy with blush most of the time because I do have already very pigmented cheeks and I don't like to wear super heavy foundation so that kind of already comes through but as you can see it's just gorgeous it's great um, the packaging is very NARS-esque. Um, I used to have the Duo Orgasm and Laguna Bronzer Duo. Um, but, you know, these, I think this was like eight bucks. It's, it's crazy. And the texture and formula is wonderful. Um, and they last really well. So um, I'm going to be picking up some more colors of these. And I will say, I actually prefer the e.l.f. Uh, compact to the NARS compact, even though they're almost identical. Because that NARS compact with the um, matte, the flat matte plastic, instantly dirty. I don't keep my makeup out on display. It sits in a bag, so kind of everything kind of gets a little bit dirty. Um, I share a bathroom with my one and a half year old, so I don't keep my makeup on display. That would be a disaster waiting to happen. So, um, and I get ready in my bathroom. So, that said, I actually prefer this. The next thing, um, and <laughs> I can tell I'm wearing it because I'm kind of beaming right now. The next thing that I have on is um, from the Jeffree Star Summer Collection. It is Summer Snow Cone uh, Skin Frost. So this is my very first skin frost. I, um, like many people, am a uh, highlight addict. I love it. I love to shine. I love to glow. I love to beam to the gods, as they say. Um, so I was like, okay, if I, I finally had to pick up something from the Jeffree Star Collection. So I waited till it launched. I definitely picked it up like two minutes after it launched. And I ended up getting the Summer Snow Cone. Um, I wasn't sure how this color would look on me because I'm very fair. So it's, it's definitely very um, golden. But I think it looks great. I mean, it's just like, it's really giving it off. Let's talk about the product. Okay, $29. So I'm on a budget. I told you that. I'm a mom. I'm on a budget. $29 and you get 15 grams of product. I'm never going to use this up. But I'm going to love it for the rest of my life, I think. Um, so, and the packaging is great. Uh, so just to blind you. Oh, hey, there I am. So the packaging is awesome. It's this awesome chrome with the um, signature Jeffrey Pink. And, you know, I just think there's really nothing more I can say about this that hasn't been said other than um, I will definitely be picking up some more. Um, I love it. So. And on my lips today, I'm sure you're wondering, is also another Jeffree Star product. Um, it's one of his... Uh, liquid lips the velour liquid lip um, it comes in the great chrome packaging just like the skin frost um, and I have this in the shade Calabasas um, so I this is my first time wearing it and I am in love like it's so comfortable it's so easy to wear it was so easy to apply in this color is like universal I think it'll look great on anybody um, I actually ended up having to change out my lip color for something for this um, and I'll tell you what color I was wearing earlier but this is a swatch of the shade and I just think oh my god it's just a universal color it's like that great berry color I wear berries all the time berries are my favorite for a reason um, I just think they're super flattering and they're so easy to wear and they go with almost everything so I I can't say enough about them um 
much like the skin frosts, I'm definitely going to purchase some more. Um, and I can foresee this being a bad habit. Um, but as I said, I had to switch it out for a color that I was wearing. And I feel really awful about this because this is my own mistake. I ended up getting one of Jeffree's lip ammunition shades um, in the color Skin Tight. People are dying for this color. And I think if I had like maybe a different lip liner or something, um, it would work for me. But first of all, let's talk about the package. How freaking awesome is that? Like the, uh, it's just great. It's awesome. I love it. The bullet style bullet. Um, super awesome in this chrome. And like I said, I have the shade, like, you know, sometimes you do things and you're like, why am I even doing that? That's pointless. But so this is the shade right here. It is great. It's awesome. It's just not for me. It totally washes me out. I tried it on without any makeup on and I thought, oh, well, that's dumb because obviously it's going to wash me out. I don't have any makeup on. But then I tried it with a full face of makeup and it just doesn't work for me. It's not, it's not working. So, um, I'm kind of sad because, you know, I wanted it to be awesome. The formula is great. I will say that the formula is awesome. Easy to apply. Super, super creamy, super pigmented. So awesome. It's just the color. It doesn't work for me. I tried it with a gloss over the top. It didn't work. I need to do something else. I may, I just need to darken it up. I think with a, um, lip liner. If any of you have a suggestion for a color, let me know. Um, because I don't want this to go to waste. It's like so amazing. Um, and then the last thing that I've been loving is definitely nothing new. Um, it's, it's not new at all, but it's a new discovery for me because I just haven't ever used it before. I've seen it all the time, but it is the Scandinavia makeup finishing spray. Um, I've just loved this for the last couple of weeks. I actually got it. I'm going to apply some right now, actually. I got it in Amazon Prime. Um, Prime Now, which, by the way, is amazing. Prime Now, two-hour delivery. Can't beat it. And this was on there, and I needed something to get me to the delivery amount limit. So I was like, okay, done. I'll buy this. It'll get me over the top, and then they'll deliver my whatever it was. Like, probably ice cream because that's real life. Um, anyway, so I bought this. This is great. I mean, look at the size. This is ridiculous. This reminds me of old school, like Vidal Sassoon or Suave. Um, it's just awesome. It's eight ounces, eight full ounces, and it's going to last me forever. And it is just great. It works so well. Um, has a shelf life of two years, so I think I'll be able to make that work. Um, but yeah, it just works so well. You know, it, it brings down the powdery look. It helps my makeup stay. Um, you know, I've worn it when we've gone out. Um, and that's usually when I'm getting done up anyways, when we're going to go out and do something, I don't get a full face going. If I'm going to go run errands, it's just not practical for me. Um, so yeah, this is a great option, um, for people who want to get their bang for their buck. Um, if, I don't remember this being super expensive. It may have been about $20. Um, but like I said, it's a huge bottle. It's going to last you forever and it just works. So, all right guys, that is what's going on. That's what I've been using and buying recently. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, please put them in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.